We are celebrating our armed forces on this 4th of July with a look at one of the military's biggest events, the Warrior Games. All branches of the U.S. military joined in a battle for gold. The annual event even inspired Britain's Prince Harry to create the Invictus Games. That's right. The Warrior Games highlight the benefits of sports and reconditioning to help wounded service members recover. So let the games begin. From the Army to the Navy. 250 athletes representing the armed forces go head to head, competing in the 2016 Warrior Games. Hosting this year's event at West Point, the one and only John Stewart. I just can't tell you how proud I am uh, to be asked to be a part of it. The Warrior Games began in 2010 and served as the inspiration behind Prince Harry's Invictus Games. Yeah! Consisting of a variety of sporting events, the 2016 Games showcased the spirit of wounded veterans and active service members like Tech Sergeant Tanya Perez of the Air Force. It must help so much to just be surrounded by others that are overcoming their injuries. Oh, absolutely. When I first got injured, I was in a denial state of my injury. I didn't believe I had a brain injury. and It's an invisible injury, so you can't see it. Others can't see it and you're just struggling every single day to re-identify yourself with this new injury. So being able to participate and what I'm getting out of it is the fact that I'm whole again. Chief Ron Condry was a first time participant and this year's Team Navy captain. One thing I've had a hard time with is reaching out for help. I love to help other people, but when it's time for me to reach out and ask for help, I, I wasn't good at that. So this is, helped me to open up and to realize that it's all about the team. Master Sergeant Israel Del Toro of the Special Operations Command knows firsthand the hardships endured after a serious injury. I got injured uh, December 4th, 2005 out on Afghanistan. You know, I was out with my team and we had got ambushed. Uh, my truck ran over an IED. When I got hit, you know, I knew immediately because I felt the blast on my left side and I collapsed and I'm thinking, I had broke my promise uh, to my son that I would not let him grow up without his dad like I did. But through resilience and rehabilitation, he overcame his injuries and now remains an active service member in the military. You know, the purpose of the Warrior Games originally was to introduce adaptive sports to military service members. They're probably feeling down because a lot of them have probably gotten out of the military and they miss that camaraderie, showing them, hey, there's this competition called the Warrior Games, we can come out, compete, be with your teammates. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We can enjoy everything that you used to. Maybe not exactly, but a lot of it. And you have your brothers and sisters here to help you. One, two, three, a true sense of camaraderie that makes every participant part of the Warrior Games family. We may be Navy, Army, Team, you know, SOCOM and Marines and Air Force, and we're all out there together. Uh, fighting our battles and pushing to uh, be successful and overcome injuries. I think this program has saved many people's lives. At this year's closing ceremonies, the torch was passed on to the U.S. Navy, who will host next year's games in Chicago. There's some oh, great athletes amazing. out there, if you've ever been to see that. And it, talk about inspiration. Yeah. I mean, they are just picking themselves up, and they're happy, and they're they're we're just so great to talk and to. And feeling whole again, as they said. It's just know, so important. That thrill to compete again. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.